Hi, my name is Lisa Crenshaw and I am here to explain to you negative and positive energies. And I'm going to do so by using several different things. And here we have the planet Earth. And if you look closely, you will see a face here on the planet Earth. You will see a horn going up this way, a horn going up that way. You'll see a nose right here in the middle. You'll see a black spot right here for an eye. You'll see what appears to be a human looking eye over there. You'll see a mouth right here. And you'll see a neck going down into the shoulder. And if you look closely, you'll see right here, it almost looks as if the face is saying, Shh. I'm going to use this face in the planet Earth to explain to you negative and positive energies. I'm going to use the hidden imam, which is the Muslim's Messiah, and is the person whom they're waiting on. I'm going to take the word imam, which is I-M-A-M, -M, and backwards, that is M-A-M-I, which spells mammy. And a mammy um, is a black nanny or a black woman who was used back in uh, pre-segregation pre -desegregation times um, to take care of uh, Caucasian people's children and tend their house and things like that. So a mammy would be a, a black woman. So the black woman we're going to use here is we're going to use Oprah Winfrey. And the reason why we're going to use Oprah Winfrey is because she represents a positive and a negative. And you're probably wondering how she does that. Well, most people either have a positive opinion or feeling about Oprah or they have a negative feeling or opinion about Oprah. So let's start off with the first letter of Oprah's name. This would be the letter O, which is also representing energy. The second letter of Oprah's name is the letter P. And what we'll do is we'll attach the P here. The letter P is the 16th letter in the alphabet. And we'll break 16 down to 1 plus 6. This equals 7. We'll turn the 7 backwards, and that will give us the letter R. So, so far we have O, P, R. The Roman numeral I means 1. The first letter of the alphabet is A. So, we'll attach the letter I here. And we know that this I is representing the letter A, which is another letter in Oprah's name. The letter I is the ninth letter of the alphabet. But the Roman numeral I also means 1. We'll subtract the 1 from the 9, which will give us the number 8. And the eighth letter of the alphabet is H, which we have spelled the word Oprah. Over here with the positive sign, the P represents positive energy. And over here with the negative sign, the I represents negative energy. So what we have is we have positive and negative energy flowing continuously in this diagram with no start and no end. If you look closely at this diagram, you will see that a face has emerged. We have an eyeball here and an eye here. We have a nose here and we have a head or a brain here, which is kind of similar if you look over here at this image of the planet Earth. We have a face and we have a face. Now, we know that the negative and positive energy here represents one's feelings, but we also know that positive and negative represents energy itself. 
as the diagram shows, they feed one another with no beginning and no end, as I mentioned before. It is continuous. This is a relationship to man's theory regarding God. Man cannot pinpoint his beginning nor his end, as the diagram shows. Now, when we talk about feelings, positive or negative, we use meeting an individual for the first time to elaborate on this. When human beings meet one another, immediately they get a feeling about the person. Feeling is equivalent to energy, as I said before. So one is reading another's energy. And the reading will be either positive or negative reading. Negative and positive are reflectant of one another. And they're mirror images, bouncing off one another, but understandably the same. They are one continuously feeding itself for it is a whole and no line of separation can be found as you can see in this diagram the negative and positive energies feeding one another with no separation one must be both negative and positive to exist and I want to go into the diagram and I want to go into the picture and show you if you look at the picture you will see if I place my hand over the side of the face uh, the right side looks non-threatening, which would represent a positive energy. And if you put my if I put my hand over this side of the face, you will see that that looks mm, kind of scary, <laughs> which would re represent a negative energy. But nonetheless, negative and positive is one. There's a negative energy and a positive energy that makes up this face. So in essence, this reflects that it is two sides, two sides, two sides, negative, positive, two sides, that compose the whole, which is one, the whole face, which is one, whole face, which is one. And this is shown in man and woman in the creation of life. This is shown in God and Satan. There must be negative in order to have the positive and vice versa. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to bring uh, this face, I'm just going to bring it into life. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it some arms and a shirt and give it some legs. And what I've written on their shirt is, I come in peace. Because what you are viewing here is a higher intelligence. And I could add some kinkiness to this head, to this brain, to give you an illustration of what would be Oprah's hair. So you could be looking at this from the back and it would be Oprah standing there, and she would have a ponytail and two hooped earrings on. Or you could look at it from the front, and it looks like a higher intelligence. But nonetheless, when I shade this in to represent Oprah's hair, what you're seeing is a black face. So, if this is Oprah, this is higher intelligence. This is equal to this. They are two separates, but they are the same. This is higher intelligence, and this is higher intelligence. This is representing Oprah Winfrey. I could elaborate and go deeper and get into the eye of Ra and the Satan, eye of Ra being a name that is used to um, call God. It's a name that, that has been given to God. Um, but I don't have the time to go into that. But I do have that, and if you would be interested in knowing more, I would certainly um, have no problem with going deeper into this 
this complex issue. So basically what I what I've done is I brought this into life. And this is just a face, just a head. And I brought it into life. And now it's a it's a it's a being. It's Oprah Winfrey. So higher intelligence is the black woman. If you'd like to discuss it any further, like I said, um, my name is uh, Lisa Crenshaw, and I live in Lockport, New York. That's area code 14094. My phone number is area code 716-280-9831. But before I leave, I, I just want to stress this point. I have brought what is higher intelligence. I have brought what is our planet that we live on. I have brought this face. I have brought this being. Whatever word you want to use to describe it, I have brought it into life. And it has become Oprah Winfrey. So what I'm saying is Oprah Winfrey is a higher intelligence. Thank you.